Hey you, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell each time I come out with content. All right, let's go. What's going on, draft geeks, draft nerds, draft virgins? It's your boy DMV back with another one. I am back with draft talk, and this is the first video of the 2022 season. We got number 65, Tyler Linderbaum, out of Iowa, one of the best linemen in the country, and we're gonna see why. Let's go to the footage. Here he's at the center position and they're going to run an inside zone to the left side. So watch what he does. He helps the guard. They're going to secure the double team. They're going to create a lane behind them. And the, uh, the running back gets a good carry there. Good carry. This next play, uh, what you see is what you want from a center, a day one guy that you want to, to come and step in is be able to make the calls. He's going to call out the mic there. Uh, they're going to all step to the right. He's going to get to the second level to where he's supposed to get to. And you're going to see a better angle of it right here. You see how Michigan is aligned, so they all step to the right. Michigan kind of figured it out up front here. But you see him carry out his assignment and get to where he needs to get to. So you're probably like, all right, DMV, man, show us what this guy can do in pass protection. So right here, they're going to make the call up front. He's going to pick up the blitzing linebacker in the A gap. Does a very good job of it right here. Does a good job has good leverage, and the quarterback's able to get the ball off. And here's one of his strengths. This is another run play. He does a very good job of helping the guard secure the double team and then getting to the second level. And this time, the running back kind of makes the wrong read, but Lindemar does a great job. And I'll see you'll see it from this angle, where the running back should have gone behind his fullback to the left side. He, he, he missed some good eating right here. And now you're going to see one of his weaknesses, which is to me really one-on-one -on -one blocking sometimes when uh, the guy has a head of steam. Now you're going to see the guy in the three technique. He's going to rush him, bull rush him, and he's going to push him back quite a bit into the quarterback's lap on this play. So there he is. Look, pushes him into the quarterback's lap. Now he does a good job standing his ground, but he did lose some ground there. Now one thing you, you want to do at the next level is be able to have screen the screen game as a staple in your offense. So you're gonna see him do a good job letting the defensive lineman get up field and he finishes downfield. This guy moves very well and finishes down the field very well. So I really like him, man. I, re I really like this kid. I think that he's heady, I think that he's smart, I think that he gets to the second level very well. And you know that he's in the Big Ten. So the Big Ten linemen, that's where they breed defensive linemen and offensive linemen. So I think that whoever lands him is going to get a really good player and he's going to be able to step in and start day one. I think with one of the things that is important in the evaluation process is uh, how players play against or how they play against, you know, top talent. Uh, what they do, do they freeze up? Do they rise to the occasion? Or, you know, do they belong? You know, I, not only does he belong, this guy's a unanimous All-American in the Big Ten, and he's playing against Michigan. I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys, you know, a few clips from the Michigan game. There's tons of tape out there to go look at this guy. And I didn't just come up with uh, some of my evaluations based on this game. I, I went, I searched, I looked at other games, and I would encourage you guys to do the same. I just wanted to give you guys a quick guideline on the type of things that you'll see when you see him out there on the field. Very good player, man. He's a very good player, and team will be lucky to draft him. I mean, just look at him. I had to go back to this clip. This is all pro tackle. Tristan Wirfs getting pinned by him in high school. I mean, that just speaks to the level of athlete he was. Three sport athlete in high school. Uh, very tough, man. This is a tough guy that somebody will draft out there. And that's all I got for you guys, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and you know what I'm saying? Share it with your friends. Tell your friends about me. Your boy DMV is back, and it's the draft time. All right, y'all? All right, peace.